Welcome to Precious Plastic Melbourne. This is our workshop and this video is about our hydraulic press upgrade to the Precious Plastic Injection Mold Machine. We'll get it all set up and we'll go through the details on how to use it. In order to produce high quality parts consistently, we've taken note of the details and we reference back each time we make the same part. In this case, we're going to weigh out 35 grams of plastic. It's an 8 mil HDPE mix of yellow and white. You throw it into the hopper, you push it down the barrel, and compress it down the end. We find it's easier if we can compress it at the beginning, melt it all at the same time. And we've got a consistent shot that way. There it goes down the barrel. We're going to plug the barrel now as well. Worth noting there's a little bit of plastic left over from a previous shot. So we're just going to compact it all in there, pop that on nice and tight. Okay, we're going to push the plastic right to the end of the barrel here. You can tell that the barrel is full because it has a little rattle uh, and it flexes slightly. In the meantime, we will get prepped, safety gloves on, put the bolts in the mold and tighten it up. This particular tool is made by Easy Molds in Germany. We use a torque wrench for consistency. and a half inch BSP fitting, which screws onto the end of the barrel. We may look at a quick release with future molds for the time being, this one suits just fine. Screw the mold onto the end of the barrel. We should probably look at putting those band hitters on the other side of the machine as those cables do tend to rob in your arms. Also important to note the orientation of the mold. If it's a large mold, it could hit the bottom of that hydraulic press. Okay, we're gonna run it to the bottom, put in a wood stopper to hold the pressure. Hold it there for about 30 seconds. Once ready, we release the wood gracefully. We can remove the mold in the hold position or once it's released down to the default position. For this case we're releasing it. We're going to set it aside whilst we start the process again. Top up the hopper. Plug it up. Gets a little tricky with the plastic in there. It's a homemade plug. But we got that. Okay, load it up, pack it, and let it sit for the required time. In this case, about five minutes. And while that's melting away, we will disassemble the mold and take the part out. Usually, we'd use a driver for this. Remove the parts. Okay, there it is. No shrinkage. A pretty thick part. Upon inspection, there's a tiny bit of flash under the lip, uh, which is probably because I didn't put exactly 35 grams in for this demonstration. Spend the time now just finishing the part, trim off any excess while you wait for the plastic to melt. A couple of minutes later we've got our next part ready to be taken out of the mold. You can see we've got no shrinkage and no flash, just a consistent part. Thanks for watching our video on the precious plastic injection machine upgrade using a hydraulic press or a log splitter.